Hey guys, how's it going? Like Butter here, and today I'm here with another Battlefront 2 video, and I have some fantastic news for those of you guys who didn't like the pay-to-win system or uh, you know pay-to-progress system that a lot of people have been talking about in Battlefront 2. Because today EA Star Wars put on Twitter uh, this tweet saying that they are disabling the in-game uh, microtransactions as of right now, so I will read this really quickly. As we approach the worldwide launch, it's clear that many of you feel there are still challenges in the design. We've heard the concerns about potentially giving players unfair advantages, and we've heard that this is overshadowing an otherwise great game. This was never our intention. Sorry we didn't get this right. We hear you loud and clear, so we're turning off all in-game purchases. We will now spend more time listening, adjusting, balancing, and tuning. This means that the option to purchase crystals in the game is now offline, and all progression will be earned through gameplay. The ability to purchase crystals in-game will become available at a later date. Only after we've made changes to the game, we'll share more details as we work through this. Oscar Gabrielson, G G Gabrielson, I don't know how to say that, but general manager at DICE. So the big complaint, I mean, you've seen it in my last video. My, my video got a ton of hate because I said that I didn't really feel like the game was pay to win. Um, I still feel like that. I still feel like people, if they spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars, they can get unfair advantages uh, by crafting the cards for the specific you know, uh, characters that they want, even though you can do that anyways just by playing, but hey, what do I know? So essentially what's going on here is EA is basically taking full responsibility for the mess up with the way that the progression system is. Now, this is what I hope they change when they do bring back the purchasable crystals. Please make the crates cosmetic only. Even though I don't feel like the star cards make a huge difference in the game, it's still just so annoying as a streamer and someone who loves playing this game to just hear people constantly complaining about it. If people really think it's that big of a deal and people think it's going to affect gameplay that much, well, that's fine. Just make cosmetics only. Um, I, The reason I haven't bought any of the packs is because I don't want people giving me shit for pain to win uh, but if they do make it cosmetic only for emotes and you know slight cosmetic changes with the characters I hope they can go through Lucasfilms and uh, get okayed for some small you know uh, cosmetics like maybe like some some marks on the helmets of the troopers or bar, uh, battle scarred armor or something so that they can make these, you know, uh, microtransactions cosmetic only and very approachable to people who, like me, who would want to support the game if that were the case. I just don't want to spend money on crystals and buy cards that are going to make me stronger. And I think the card system is really good. I like the way that it, it when you get a card, uh, it kind of pushes you to play like a class or use a starfighter that you otherwise wouldn't use. Now you can see in this video here, uh, I'm actually using the officer class. Now I had no intentions of ever trying the officer class, but I ended up having uh, one of the milestones because I wanted to get the credits so that I could get more cards. Um, I tried out the officer class and I actually really, really enjoyed it. And the S5 is nuts, it's a super strong uh, pistol. And I think that this is fantastic. I think that the card system is good as long as it can't be purchased and the crafting parts can't be earned by in-game purchases. I think that this is going to be a really good system that people will, will continue to enjoy. And it'll constantly give me something to build towards as I play the game. Now, don't get me wrong. It is frustrating when you go up against somebody and it's a really close fight. And then you look and they got purple cards and you got to think to yourself, is that the reason they just killed me? Um, I personally haven't had that happen a single time but apparently everyone else in the world has so if that's the case um, I'm really happy that they're doing this uh, as long as they don't bring the crates back with the uh, pay to win element still in it because if that's the case I think there will be a huge uproar people will flip out a lot of people are saying that they think that they're just disabling it uh, so that they can have a successful launch and then re-enabling it when everybody can't get refunds. Um, that would be super scummy. I think EA uh, is money hungry as they are and as, you know, just like any other company, they want to make as much money as possible. I think at this point in time, they know that that would be an absolutely terrible idea. I hope they don't do that because if they did that, it would honestly make me cringe so hard just because 
like it's giving everybody false hope it's giving everybody like i know a lot of people out there are probably going to buy the game now because they saw that the microtransactions got turned off but beware they may bring them back i just really hope if they do bring the crates back you can only purchase cosmetic crates only i mean there's a ton of emotes in the game and i never see those emotes in the crates i swear i you only get them um for like certain milestones and stuff so i don't i wouldn't mind if they put a bunch of emotes like i said small cosmetics things like you know darth maul being able to put his hood up just the same way that you can take kylo ren's mask off i'm not sure why you would ever do that um but the fact that like there, there's some things that they can do i wouldn't even mind like one of the stormtroopers if you watch the um the force awakens the part where i think it's finn one of the stormtroopers kind of dies and uh he puts his hand on finn's mask and hit like a blood print like a hand print goes across the mask i don't know if they'd be able to do that because i think the game's rated team but i don't see why they wouldn't um i think that would be a super awesome cosmetic to have like one, like just the fate of the hand bloody hand print on the mask i think there is a lot of things that they can do but they kind of have to think a little bit outside the box and it's probably really frustrating for dice to have to go with every single little detail through lucas films and it sucks not being able just to do what they want because if it were me i think it would be super funny watching people run around with like purple lightsabers or light green you know whatever it is somebody told me that purple lightsabers are real but whatever it may be even if it's small like cosmetic changes to some of the blaster rifles so that it, they don't look absolutely ridiculous ridiculous but maybe like like a chrome uh finish on them or just something I, i'm sure they can come up with some ideas to make some really good cosmetics so that they can still make money because i you know i'm happy about this because i'm so sick of hearing the pay to win shit over and over again because the game at its core as far as gameplay as far as sound as far as looks as far as how much content is in it the game is honestly 10 out of 10 in my opinion it's it's absolutely fantastic there's a ton of absolute ton of maps i really like the map design i really like the game modes i like how they overhauled uh the starfighter like you know space battles it feels so much better so much more smooth and i just want to get past all this pay to win shit because dice made a unbelievably good game and i think ea needs to kind of just be a little bit smarter about it and realize that a star wars game is going to sell really well unless you make some major major mishap like this like they did with the crate system so anyways guys i just wanted to relay the information to you about the changes to the microtransactions and why they are not purchasable uh for now hopefully in the future we see that change where they make the crates cosmetic only I think even if they came back and said, "Oh, you can only get the basic cards," I think just get it out of the out of the packs completely, and let's let's work forward here, and uh, you know, let's move on from this because you know I, I don't like be I can only imagine how much flack like EA developers are getting or you know people who worked on Battlefront because. I'm just somebody who's playing the game and giving my honest opinion. I'm even giving shit for supporting, you know, uh, I, I saw people saying that it's supporting children's gambling and all this other stuff, saying that loot crates are gambling for children. First of all, I'm going to say this. If somebody out there is a young child and they have control over their mommy's credit card or the daddy's credit card, that's the parent's fault, 110%. That's not the company's fault. A lot of us that who play these games are adults and we know the consequences of spending large amounts of money on microtransactions. So I really don't think that that's a valid like opinion and it's kind of annoying to hear that. Uh, but that's 100% on the parents. That's something that the parents have to take care of. And if, if the little kid has a gambling problem, that's something that they need to take care of like it's not if they do have a gambling problem it's probably not going to stop here they're going to go on poker sites they're going to gamble they're going to find ways to do it elsewhere so i think calling uh you know loot crates gambling for children is a little bit ridiculous but that's just my opinion you guys may see that differently anyways thanks for watching this video i hope you enjoyed be sure to drop the video a like if you enjoyed and tell me what you think in the comments below all right take care everybody